Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. If the first time you're passing through, you may want to put the thumbs up button if you like what I'm talking about. Put the thumbs down button if you disapprove. Um, or you might want to write a comment. You might want to share it with other people. Or you might even want to subscribe if you want to hear more from me. It's up to you. No pressure whatsoever. Existing subscribers, thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for giving me questions and suggesting um, topics that you would like me to talk about. Today, I got a um, reminder, or should I say, I've subscribed to Dr. Mombi. And she uploaded this video I'm going to show you now. Now, if you're religious um, or if you have a strong faith in God, if you're a traditional Christian, you need to switch off now because you're going to find this video blasphemous. However, I felt I needed to sh share it because I find it interesting. Um, I think... It's an individual's point of view, and I will welcome your comments. Um, just a little background. To start off a church, you do not need any qualifications. Technically, you should be ordained, but you do not have to be ordained. Um, and all you need is to have a business plan. You just need to get a team together. You find a place of worship. And I think you, you just need some money to just get yourself started. And that's it. Bob's your uncle. In America, you don't pay property tax. You don't pay income tax. You don't pay land tax. You pay a tax, but, you know, for the majority of it, you don't pay um, the main taxes that cost the most money. In the UK, um, a pastor will, pay, um, will be put in self-employment. Um, will register as a self-employed, which means this, which is probably why they buy these big properties and cars and stuff to offset um, their taxes so they don't have to pay so much, you know, as tax write-offs. I'm just saying. But anyway, um, I just wanted to make sure that I said that to you. Now, I'm going to show you the video. It's, what, five minutes long? Um, but it's interesting. And I think you'll... Um, yeah, quite controversial. Christianity is a business. Yeah. Jesus is the product. Christians yeah. are the customers. Your prophets and your pastors are the beneficiaries. Yeah. Logic and common sense. The richest institution on this planet is the church. Yeah. Money that goes into the church every month cannot be compared to the money that goes to the nation uh, through taxes yeah, every month. Yeah. The church is the easiest institution to run uh, because anything you tell the church members to bring in the name of God, they will bring it. Yeah. Uh, the pastors are rich hmm. and the members are poor. Uh, yeah. Even before you see this man of God, you have to pay consultation fee. Yeah. Are you a doctor? Uh, yeah. These pastors are owning companies. Yeah. No wonder they have started buying private jets. Uh, okay. 2019 Rolls Royce. Mm. What are you telling me? People with credential, university graduates, uh -huh. they are masters. Are sitting in these churches and you are playing with your mind. I it is true. I the pastor told you don't use logic uh, in the church. Hmm. Being a Christian means enter without your brain. Uh, when okay. you use the brain in the church, it doesn't work. Yeah. Once you do that, it God. Yeah. You are a thief. Yeah. God doesn't need money. Maybe. Human beings need money yeah. to save human beings. Yeah. Once you target, God says, you are a thief, uh, you are a scam. Yeah. These people promise you blessing when you bring money. Uh, they are scamming you in the name of a God oh yeah. who doesn't exist. Yeah. You can't bless God with your money uh, if he gave you the money. Yeah. What does he need your money for? That's how they make money from you. Yeah. They will buy private jets. Uh, some pastors have mansions in Dubai. Yeah. Some have mansions 
in the United States here, Britain, Canada, Spain, yeah. your pastors go on holidays. Some go to Hawaii. Uh -huh. Some go to Dubai for holidays and shopping. Oh, yeah. Why do you go for holidays? <laughs> Like I said, I took that from a Dr. Mombi. She didn't even comment on it, so that tells you something. And it is difficult to comment on religion because you don't want to offend anyone and um, you can offend people just by sharing the video. So that's why I had to put a disclaimer in the beginning, just in case people are religious and will be offended by the content. But um, what I thought was interesting, I was looking up whether or not it cost money to run a church, and apparently it cost between £18 to £25 per week per person, and that's to pay for like the rent or the mortgage, um, you know, employees, um, and just basic running of the church. And then I was trying to think, okay, so if um, they're asking for 10% tithes which the majority of church do on top of the tithes though they sometimes some of the churches have like building funds and all other kind of funds so i'm not quite sure how that works but even if they were just to get the tithes at 10 percent, and you're talking about a minimum salary of sixteen thousand, there's still 1600 a month that they're getting so it's still more than um well, it pro pro probably breaks even if your salary is about 16000 but you'll get a lot of people whose salary is above that. And I guess you'll get some people who can't afford to pay anything, so it might balance out. But it's when, I think it is when you see pastors um, driving, you know, brand new Rolls Royces and they have private jets and private planes and how big houses on the hill and you're there struggling. Why um, this gentleman is saying that they're scamming in the name of the Lord. Um, what else do I say? Also, what I find with church is quite interesting is you do have in, you have intellectuals in the audience, you have intelligent people, and yet everybody is almost like, I guess, uh, if everybody spoke out, 
they um, the church wouldn't finish. But I think it's interesting that the pastor speaks and everybody listens. Nobody asks a question. Nobody asks for clarity. Nobody challenges the pastor on what he said. And the thing is, is that we all have different points of view. So I think it's interesting that I, I guess it's protocol that people aren't allowed to speak because I guess it would it would kind of need some discipline. But I think it would be really good if pastors did say allow one person per week to ask a question on what they've discussed or what they've talked about. And, you know, you you kind of talk about it and debate it and find out, you know, whether or not the different points of view. I think that would be really interesting. But like they, like he was saying, he said the people are like sheep, they're followers, they're obedient. And pastors rely on obedient audiences, on congregation. They rely on them just saying, listen, we need X amount. You have to give us X amount. And people don't question it. They just give what they're told they, they're, supposed to be, they're supposed to give. Um, what else did I want to say? I thought it was interesting. He was saying that pastors in Africa, to speak to them, you have to pay a consultation fee. Honestly, that is not good. And can you imagine how much that consultation fee is? I mean, like he said, it's like a business. I don't think it's that bad in the UK, but he was talking about Africa, you know, how, how it's a big business over there. Um, and, you, you know, faith how faith uh, people give money on faith sometimes it's like when people do the lottery some people they 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 pay a couple of quid or 10 quid hoping to win the lottery and they pay it on faith don't they thinking oh, i'm gonna choose these numbers and i might win something the same way they might be using their last few shekels giving it into the into the collection and believing when the pastor says, you know, when you pay, you're going to get seven times as much or a hundred times more than what you put in. And I never hear any success stories. I've never been to a church that said, you know, I put in 70 pound this month and I got 700 or something similar. I You, you don't hear those kind of um, stories, you know, to know whether or not when people are struggling, and they do put in their last few pennies and they are, you know, they haven't paid their rent or whatever. Do they get seven times? And if they don't, what makes them keep putting in every month? You know, is it because they hope that, that at, one, at some point they're going to get it? So I don't know. I just thought his, um, his viewpoint was interesting. And that's all I'm going to say, really. Um, did I say ordained? I don't think, oh yeah, I think I spoke about um, self-employment, didn't I? They don't, um, they can offset their purchases. Anyone can start a church, they don't need credentials. I think I said all of that though. Sometimes I, I talk and then I've played the video and I've kind of forgotten what I've said, but I think I've covered everything. So that's all for now. Bye-bye.